Hey guys, my name is Jamie. Today I'm going to be showing you a vertical linearity as well as an amplitude control linearity. This video is a part of our equipment qualification series. A little bit about me, I'm a UT level 2 as well as a phase array level 2. Let's go ahead and get into the vertical linearity. Alright, as you see where my finger's pointing, I have 50% screen height to the left signal and 100% screen height is on the right signal, both gates. And on the left side of the screen you see the vertical linearity chart. So we started at 100% signal, that's the one on the right, and then one on the left was 50%. So now what we need to do, you want to drop the dB so that the signal on the right is reads 90%, and then you calculate the, what the signal on the left is. So ours was 44%. All right, so we'll just go again, lower the dB, make sure that the signal on the right is at 80 dB. And we're just about there. And we're going to end up with 38% screen height on the left signal. And you see our percent signal difference. You're allowed to have plus or minus 5% of the initial signal. So you're allowed to have plus or minus 5%. So as you see, our on our 80 to 38, we had a minus 3% signal differential, which is okay. So now we're on 70. 70% 70 screen height on the right one. It's reading 69.5, round up, and ours reads 33%, so another minus 3%. If you pay attention where the, the transducer is placed on the DS block, you'll see why we're getting that signal at 50%. So we have the larger signal is bouncing at the 4-inch mark, and the smaller signal is mark hitting the 2-inch mark. All right, so we did 60% on the right signal, and that ended up being 28%. Another minus 3%. Looks like we have 50%, 49.9. Signal on the left is 23.6, round up, 24. That's a minus 2% differential. Lowering the dB again, 40% on the right signal, 19% on the left one. That's a minus 3%. So we're still, every so, so far, every category is within tolerance. It is also important to note that in order to hit some of the signals, you may need to change some settings on the machine. And also, make sure you want to set your machine to the right frequency settings and everything like that. So we did 30% on the right one. On the left, we ended up with 14, so another minus 3%. Here's the 20% on the right, and we have 9.6 round up to 10, so 0%. So that's perfect. Then you would go again, so we have 10 on the right, 4.8 round up to 5. All right, and as you can see, that concludes the vertical linearity, and it is within calibration. And this is the amplitude control thing. All right, so what I'm doing right now on the top left is the Excel file that I'm inputting numbers in. So when you look on the left, you see the signal is at 80%. So what you do is you drop it 6 dB, and that should drop it 50% screen height. And so it should drop it to 40. It was, in our case, 41. All right, so we go back to 80, then we drop it 12 dB, which will go 40 to 20. And ours is 21, so 1 dB off. So now we go start at 40% screen height, raise it 6 dB, and that should bring us to 80. We're at 81. All right, now you start at 20%, and you're going to add 12 dB, which should bring you to 80%, and ours was 81. And that concludes this video. I hope this helped, and if you need more information, go ahead and check out firstchoiceinde.com.